Greetings guys, it's Irish here. So, recently I decided to start de-googling my ecosystem online. Uh, it's just been a work in progress. Um, I think like a few years ago I decided to move away from Google search to Google uh, to DuckDuckGo. I did look at start page, uh, that seemed interesting until they got bought out by a, uh, like a uh, some company overseas. So. I've been on DuckDuckGo for a while, so so the only two services, three if you want to consider uh, Android a, a Google service, um, is Android Phone, Gmail, and obviously YouTube. There really isn't any good alternative to YouTube, so I've been just trying to, um, again, Google, Facebook, they just overwhelm the marketplace a little too much. They have a little too much grasp on the throat. So I decided to search for a Gmail alternative. Now a lot of people have decided or thought about ProtonMail. Now ProtonMail is pretty good. It's based in Switzerland so it has to adhere to the Swiss privacy laws. However, from doing some research and some like other YouTube videos, um, they don't encrypt their their um, sorry their subject lines, and uh, with most of these, their metadata is not um, is not uh, encrypted. So you could still technically find out what the person's writing, even though it's supposed to be end-to-end -end encryption. Um, and then there have been some other people from uh, like the, the subreddit and everything that a lot of their accounts were compromised or something like that, and one person was considered a quote-unquote drug dealer, and his account was suspended or outright deleted. Um, and they do work with the Swiss government on stuff like that. So it's still a possibility, obviously. Um, so they have a few. Um, they have a few of them. Their interface looks okay. Kind of looks a little outdated. And they actually do have the VPN built in. One of my coworkers at work actually has uh, signed up for the VPN. But they're uh, they have a a free account uh, with 500 gigabytes of storage. Um, let me see if I can find that here. See the specs here. <clears throat> so it was crowdfunded by Andy Yen. <clears throat> Um, okay, I guess that's not going to show anything here. So, decided to go away from Proton Mail. The next one that I really considered was Zoho Mail because they actually do have a similar library of things, just like the Google Suite. Their interface looks interesting. Um, they actually have a calendar notes, tasks. It, again, they have the whole Google Suite. You can write uh, Word documents and stuff like that. Uh, ProtonMail does have a calendar, but it's in beta form, so maybe I can switch over to this um, once it becomes out of beta. But it has a calendar, contacts, tasks, everything that you would probably see in Google uh, and it, the, the, um, the UI looks very modern. Uh, the pricing, <clears throat> so you could do for a dollar a month. I don't think they have, okay, so they do have a free plan. No, nope, that's different. So I could did consider this. I've never really um, considered paying for my email. I felt like that is a should be a free service, but I'm coming to the conclusion, yeah, if you want privacy and security over online, then you probably do need to pay for it. So 
So it would be a dollar a month, stuff like that. So I did, this is still on the table, but I decided to try out Tutanota, who is Germany based. <clears throat> so here, I'll show you what the pricing is. So they do have a free version, which has one user, one gigabyte of storage. Uh, it only has the Tutanota domains only, limited search, and one calendar. The calendar, from what I've been seeing, is actually encrypted also, which is awesome. Uh, it does double what ProtonMail was asking for. Now, I am considering if my trial period, I'm going to say like six months, uh, goes well, then I may do the premium or just move over to either Zoho or Proton. But with that, you can do unlimited searching, five aliases. So now you could actually have um, so one email, but just like a alias in a terminal, you can name your email something different. So if you have, say, if I decided to go over to the premium, I could have an alias for the YouTube, um, for my YouTube channel and to have you guys email me and stuff like that. So the nice thing about all of these is, um, especially Proton and Tutanota, is it does have end-to-end -end encryption. Now, if you don't know what end-to-end -end encryption is, there is a good video by Computer File uh, that I will link down below, but it, the guy is a computer scientist in there, and he explains it very well. But it, the general... Um, general gist of it is you both have a public key and you're going into a server however you both can share a private key so if I decide to email um, one, of, uh, one of my friends I have to set a, uh, a password to it and my friend would actually have to decrypt it with that password that we agree upon so it is fairly safe. Um, but again, it, this is brand new territory for me. Um, uh, I do, again, have the Google phone, uh, the Pixel, uh, which eventually I'll get rid of it because the nice thing about it was it was I needed to have better updates because when I moved over to Android from iPhone, I was on the Samsung. And with the Samsung, there was a lot of bloat. And then if there was any updates on there, there would be it, it would take a lot a long time. So I decided to go here before becoming more anti Google. Um, so I may think looking at Lineage OS, or I did see a video yesterday about it's called the E Project. So they take an Android device and they just take out everything related to Google and they actually have their own project and stuff like that again I'll put that down below but I'm gonna try either Ftroid or Lineage OS or something other than Android just to uh, squish down how much of my Google experience that I can do so this was gonna be a relatively quick video so I was just uh, telling you guys what's been going on. Um, I do hope to get my virtual box up and running today. And hopefully either tonight or tomorrow I'll make a video on just an install video of like OpenSUSE uh, Leap or Tumbleweed. So because it's not as straightforward as a lot of people might think. And OpenSUSE is very, very well done. So... But yeah, that was the video I was going to tell you guys, uh, just giving you a heads up. Um, let me know which email provider you guys are on, and if there are any other ones. Um, uh, there are several others out there, I'm sure. Netsy, um, Mailbox.org, stuff like that. Um, was it Postio is another one. But let me know which ones do you guys uh, think. Um, and I do know that the safest one of them all would be to run your own but I don't have the income or the knowledge to run my own uh, email server so I am this is the next best thing so I am willing to learn but hopefully you guys have a good weekend and I'll catch you next video